In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, use, and edit bookmarklets in Google Chrome. In case you didn't know what they were, a bookmarklet is a piece of JavaScript code that is independent of any particular web page. It's portable, which makes it extremely powerful because it means you can manipulate pretty much any web page out there using bookmarklets, and there's really no limit to what you can do. And in Google Chrome, in order to use bookmarklets, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the bookmarklets bar or favorites bar is visible. And the way you do that is in Chrome. Chrome on the upper right here. See the three vertical dots right here? Click them and see where it says bookmarks? Mouse over that. Where it says here, show bookmarks bar, it should be checked. If it's not checked, your bookmarks bar will not be visible. Once that's done, go to the web page where the bookmarklet is. Now, 99.9% .9 of the time, a bookmarklet that is being offered on a web page comes as a link with the href or the URL attribute of that link being the JavaScript code, and you can merely drag and drop that bookmarklet to your bookmarks bar. I will show you how to do that. For this example, I'm on one of our web pages where we offer a free Plenty of Fish auto message sending bookmarklet. And here is the bookmarklet right here. All you do is you mouse over it, hold the mouse down, the left mouse button, drag it, and drop it anywhere in the bookmarks bar you want. Release the mouse, and there's the bookmark. And just in case you're curious what this bookmark does, if you're on Plenty of Fish and you want to send somebody a message and you don't want to bother with all the typing, click on the bookmarklet and it types out a message. Now, on the rare occasions where the bookmarklet is not provided to you as a link that you can drag and drop to your bookmarklets bar, creating one from scratch is not difficult. All you do is you right click anywhere on the bookmarklet bar, not on a bookmarklet itself, but on a blank area. Right click, add page, and you are going to want to replace the name with the name for the bookmarklet that's going to remind you what that bookmarklet does. And for the URL, you want to put the JavaScript code. What you want to do, I'm going to use this JavaScript code for example. What you want to do is you want to make sure the JavaScript code all resides on a single line and doesn't span multiple lines. And the way you do that is you come to this web page, which is showing on your screen right now. Scroll down a little bit. There's a text box there that will convert multiple lines of JavaScript to one line. Just put your JavaScript code in here that makes up the bookmarklet like this. There's all the code on one line. Copy it to clipboard. Right click the bookmarklets bar. Add page. The name. Use a name that's going to remind you of what that bookmarklet does. And for the URL, you're going to want to paste that entire line of JavaScript code and click Save. And there is the bookmarklet right there. And again, you can move it as well, grab it, drag it over here, for example, if you wish. And again, to use a bookmarklet, all you do is you click on it, and the bookmarklet will run. This particular bookmarklet allows you to scrape content from a web page, which you can also find on this page, which is URL2 is being displayed on your screen right now.